The Girardin story begins in the small village of Saint Felix de Quinze near Drummondville, Quebec. Lionel Girardin was born here in 1914, and as a teenager, he began working with his father John, who worked as a blacksmith. In the 1930s, cars began to replace horses on the roads around the village. When cars broke down, blacksmiths were often enlisted to repair them. Lionel was fascinated by the automobiles that came to his father's blacksmith shop, and soon he had made himself a set of tools to repair them. In 1934, Lionel left home to study automobile mechanics in Quebec City. The following year, he returned home and built a small auto garage beside his father's metal shop. As the number of cars increased on the roads of Quebec, Lionel's car repair business took off. He built a service station with British American gas pumps and had enough space inside for four cars. By 1950, Lionel already needed more space so he bought another building with eight service bays. But two years later, the building and everything inside was destroyed in a freak explosion. Lionel was determined to succeed, and soon enough he set about rebuilding a new service station. Seeking ways to expand his business, he began selling used cars off his lot with his brother Rinald. Shortly after, he obtained a franchise to sell Dodge DeSoto vehicles. It closed many small rural schools, so students now had to be transported to schools in the larger towns. It closed many small rural schools, so students now had to be transported to schools in the larger towns. Not one to let an opportunity pass him by, Lionel acquired one of the first school bus contracts in the province. In 1958, he bought an old bus from a scrapyard, and with the help of his two sons, André and Marcel, they fixed it up and painted it yellow. Thus was born the Girardin Bus Company. A few years later, Lionel obtained franchises to sell Wayne and Superior buses. André, who became in charge of sales, ran advertisements for the buses across the province. Soon enough, the small hamlet of St. Felix de Quinze was on the map as the home of one of Quebec's pioneers in the school bus industry. To continue growing the business, Lionel and his son André realized that they needed more exposure. They decided to establish a new location in Drummondville along the new Highway 20. A local farmer agreed to rent them some land at the price of $20 per month, with the only condition that if his cows were disturbed, the buses had to leave. The new location was a bold move and hugely successful. So much so that within a few months, the Girardins had bought the land from the farmer, and in 1966, they built a 7,000 square foot, 7 bay garage dedicated to buses. The year 1966 also marked an important milestone for Girardin. In the new facility, Girardin began the transformation of small vans, converting them into school buses. Thus was born Girardin Minibus. By 1968, business was booming, and Girardin acquired a franchise to distribute Bluebird school buses, a cornerstone of the Girardin Bus Company ever since. When Lionel passed away in 1972, 
sons Andre and Marcel took over the family business and dedicated themselves to taking Girardin to the top of the school bus marketplace. The Girardin infrastructure continued to expand and in 1979 they added another 22,000 square foot warehouse for parts sales and storage. Throughout the 1970s, Girardin continued to offer van conversions for minibus customers. In the early 80s, the company opened its own minibus factory in Cambridge, Ontario, directed by Jean-Marc Girardin to produce a Bantam minibus. In 1988, Girardin and Bluebird revolutionized the school bus market in Quebec with the arrival of the TC2000 flat nose bus. In 1991, Girardin built a 23,000 square foot assembly plant in Drummondville and began producing its popular MB2 minibus. All was smooth sailing until July 1999 when disaster struck. A powerful tornado hit the Girardin facilities in Drummondville. The buildings along with 500 vehicles on the lot were damaged, some totally destroyed. Luckily, nobody was injured. Many of the buses damaged by the tornado were to fill orders for the coming school year. Thanks to the determination of the Girardin employees and the collaboration of its clients, the company was able to fill most of its orders on time. The following year, with ever-increasing demand for its range of minibuses, Girardin expanded its manufacturing facility yet again, this time to 100,000 square feet. In 2005, with an eye to the future, the company introduced its industry-leading G5 minibus. The ultra-functional design of the G5 leads the way in safety and reliability and is a testament to the experience that Girardin has acquired over the years as a leader in the bus industry. Proud partners for over 40 years, Girardin and Bluebird continue to offer their clients state-of-the-art products including the Bluebird Vision, the TX3 and the full range of Girardin minibuses. Their parts and after-sales service departments are among the most comprehensive in North America. Lionel began his car repair business with a few rudimentary tools he made in his father's blacksmith shop in St. Felix de Kingsay. When automobiles appeared on the road, he knew they were the future. Over the ensuing decades, Lionel and his sons, André, Marcel, Jean-Marc, Daniel and Sylvain worked tirelessly to build their company into the industry leader it is today. The next generation of Girardins is now at the helm. André's sons, Steve and Dave Girardin, can count on a dedicated and dynamic team to continue the tradition. Girardin remains to this day a family business, but only thanks to the tireless dedication and vision of the Girardin team who have worked so hard over the years to make Girardin the company it is today. The success of Girardin Bluebird would also not have been possible if it weren't for the customers who return year after year to the one company they've come to trust. Whatever challenges the next 50 years will bring, Girardin Bluebird will continue to provide the quality products and services that have enabled it to become the industry leader it is today.